Yo guys, the Mitch here, and welcome back to Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 3. You guys know what it is. I wonder if anybody says that along with me. If you ever say it with me, just let me know in the comments. But yeah guys, welcome back uh, to more Fortnite. There is a lot been revealed here. There's a lot going on, a lot of the news here. And I just want to give my thoughts, because I never get, I actually got to give my thoughts on all the stuff going on, because the whole time, if you're not aware, I've been just trying uh, to, uh, since the D23 event, I've been unable to see it uh, at first. Uh, and it's still going on now, I'm pretty sure. The doors to Disney Horizon Live are open. Uh, da, 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 da. The show will be watchable until August 16th. Yes, so it's going to uh, it's just gonna be on reruns, basically, until the 16th, which is the end of the season. And that's going to be the beginning of next season. That's when next season starts. Uh, it's going to be uh, Chapter 5, Season 4. Uh, and it's going to be the Marvel season. Oh, I'm ready for that one, bro. I'm ready for that one. The only thing I'm going to miss is being able to say Chapter 5, Season 3. <laughs> but yeah, man, I'm going to be... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very hyped for it. I'm just going to be on that season day one. Um, you already know what it is for me. So if you want to see it, if you want to see the, uh, if you missed the live, uh, the live show, the Disney D uh, D23 show, if you missed that, then you can still go there now and watch it, uh, until the 16th. And that'd be the end of, uh, see, uh, season three. Uh, so you make sure you check that out. But, uh, that being said, I've been unable to watch it at first and cause it was nothing but a black screen. And uh, you may have seen one of my videos of, uh, <laughs> having quite a bit of videos on that talking about it. Uh, and I've been trying to get someone to, you know, say something. I'm trying to get, uh, some attention on those so someone can, uh, so they can get out there so I can, uh, we can have some kind of answers, hopefully from Epic, uh, themselves, but, uh, obviously that wasn't the case. But somebody did since let me know on Twitter, uh, and I did give them a shout out uh, on that video. Maybe I can uh, link it at the end of the on the end videos at the end of this video. Um, but uh, thanks to that person, let me know that basically uh, if it doesn't show for you, it's because of the setting. It's because of their copyright setting, and that was that that's what it was uh, for me. And so I mean. If it's, uh, but I did get a comment from someone else saying that they st they tried it and it still didn't work. I'm not sure. You guys, let me know in the comments if you you're still unable to. Uh, but I did give uh, some advice to them and and saying that make sure that they go back and check it again because some people probably would tend, to, especially if they're not used to changing the setting, uh, or changing settings in general, they probably wouldn't be aware of that the apply button at the bottom there. So they could have ended up trying to change it, but forgot to press apply once they did. So mine is on mute all. And so if it's not showing for you, you're going to want to set it to play. You want to go to uh, your settings under the audio tab at the top. You see the tabs at the top. Look at the very top. You see audio, video, audio, game. You want to go to audio. Then while under that, go to creator options. Um, then go over to um, license audio and then uh, whatever you're on. If you're on either one of those bottom ones, mute others or mute all, you're going to want to uh, select it and then change over to play. And then you want to press, uh, then you want to press the apply button. You see that apply button popped up at the bottom there? You're going to want to press that. That's the, that's the important part. You have to press that to make that uh, disappear. That's, what uh, that's what saves your uh, your changes. If you don't press that, then none of it saves. It'll go back to what it was. So that could have been what it was for that person who it still wasn't playing for. Maybe they didn't go back and make uh, sure that they pressed that apply button. So that could have been what it was. But if you go to it and it's still um, on the correct setting for you, and you're basically w where your copyright is turned on, where you can hear copyrighted music, and it's still not working, then you probably need to uh, uh, try to contact Epic about that. But, but yeah, that being synced, uh, hopefully that fixes the problem with that. But that's what it was for me. That's what fixed the problem for me. Um, and so, hopefully it it fixes it, the problem for you guys as well. Um, but yeah. But that being said, guys, I wanna. Uh, 
I want to give my thoughts really quick on this, uh, on this, the, some of the news and stuff that we've been getting uh, regarding next season and, and everything that we're getting, the content, the Marvel stuff is absolutely awesome. Um, once I actually did get to sit down and watch that event, which I did watch the event in full, uh, and I, did, I didn't get a chance to have an actual reaction of it during the moment, but I do want to give my thoughts on it anyway. I did uh, also um, reveal a video. I have just dropped the video on it, like the full video of the, of the, the event, the D23 event. I did uh, drop that video as well, just in case anybody else probably missed it or unable to see it. I just wanted to have the full thing. But it is in-game, and it, and it was other people there, so you're going to hear a lot of noises. You're going to hear a lot of jumping around and emotes and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but, but, I mean, you can still hear the video uh, uh, very well. So uh, it still should be good enough, hopefully. But I do want to get my thoughts on this. Uh, it's really cool, I think. I want to... Hold on. Okay, I want to give my kind of like my commentary on everything uh, as I as I'm watching it. So, really quick, let me see if I can. Uh, I need to turn down. How do you turn down this uh, the video? Oh, cinematics. Is this it? Adjust the volume of cinematics or cutscene videos. Yes, yes, please. I need to turn this down really quick so that I can give my commentary on it while it's uh, while it's going. Thirty. That should be good. All right, let's try that again. Let's see. I think it's good. Right. It still plays pretty loud for me. Hold on, let me go back one more time and turn it all the way down to 10, because it's still playing pretty loud. But maybe in my headphones, with my headphones that I have, maybe it's just what I'm hearing, but what you guys are hearing is pretty low. That could be the um, that could be the thing too. But then again, I never really changed these um, these settings here. I always just kind of left it the way it is. Uh, so maybe I can turn this down too. Okay, I'll go back and change uh, change them back later. But that should be good enough. All right. So it starts off at first right there, right there. You see on the ground. I thought that was uh, Daredevil. I was like, a new Daredevil. The, uh, you know, I freaked out for a moment there. But it's just the part, just the, I think it was the armor piece from uh, the Wastelander of the, I forget. But I mean, then we see Jonesy, the uh, Captain Jonesy. There's a lot going on, bro. I wish I could go back because I can't even get my thoughts out. I really, I really enjoy the feel of it, though. It's, it feels like um, how we, it was in the beginning of the Marvel, the, the MCU movies and the hype surrounding it. Like we were getting another uh, Avengers movie, and like the Avengers are uh, assembling again. You know, it's get that vibe to it. Oh, there's the gameplay where you can see that. I love that. We're getting Cap Shield again. We're getting they revamped uh, Black Panthers mythic there, and we can see the flying. Though yes, the uh, the Iron Man, the Iron Man mythic. We, I got to talk about this stuff. It's just all going while I'm trying to, <laughs> but I'm playing the actual video, so I can't really pause it. And there's Doom's mythic. No, that's crazy. That's really good right there. That's really good. I really like that. I really like that. Okay, there's a few things to, uh, to cover here. First off, first off, first things first, War Machine. Hello. Yes, War Machine. We're getting War Machine. For the first time, I love that. So now we're gonna have Iron Man, and, and so now we're gonna have Iron Man and War Machine in Fortnite. And we already have the OG Iron Man, and it wasn't the um, it wasn't the exact same suit as the as Iron Man from Iron Man One. Uh, which which Mark was that? Mark Mark Three. I was thinking of. That's not the one. The OG Iron Man. Um, I, I have it. So let me show you really quick. Uh, where is it? Tony Stark. There we go. Right here, Tony Stark. Um, and then switch over is the built-in emote. Here we go. Yeah, so this is not the the one from Iron Man One. It's the Mark. Uh, I was thinking of the Mark Three, but this is not Mark Three. Somebody else said uh, uh, what Mark it was, but I forget what it was. 
but it was definitely in the double digits. But I can't remember the exact number of what suit this is. If you know exactly what suit this is, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, I remember that. I was like, wait, that's not the one that we got. Um, but that is another one that he has. I'm pretty, maybe it's from the comics. So uh, that's what I do know. But it's cool that we're going to have Iron Man and we're going to have um, War Machine for the first time. And you can see that he had that, that mythic. And it was like that turret. That's turret on his shoulder. You can see that there. Uh, and that's what we're going to be able to have. Man, that's going to be so broken, bro. Will you be able to actually fly, like hover over and then just blah, 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 just, <laughs> just light everybody up from the skies like that? It's going to be war, man. It was going to be war. If you, if, you did all the, if you did the quests, especially the last story quest that just came out, I just finished mine. But if you do that, um, the, with, there was a lot of dialogue involved in there. And the Oracle, she, uh, she basically, the last things that she said was, uh, there's going to be a war. Prepare for war. Nah, she was right, man. She ain't never lying, bro. It's going to be nothing but war. With those, it's it's going to be an automatic lock-on turret, bro. People's gonna lock on to you from the skies, bro. Bro, what are we gonna? How are we gonna be able to play this? I'm loving it though because it's Marvel. So I mean, that's how I think. I think that'll make it fun. Remember the beginning of this season? Everybody loved it because we we were getting the cars. We were getting the cars with the mods, and we could be able to uh, shoot each other from just our cars and whatnot. And everybody's loving the chaos. It was chaotic, but everybody loved it. Remember that? So I'm pretty sure people's going to love this. I, I scroll through Twitter and I see everybody absolutely loving this and so hyped. Everybody keeps saying, telling Epic, please, please, Epic, to uh, release Season 4 early. Uh, just release it today. Release it tomorrow. Because <laughs> uh, there's a lot of people who are hyped of it. Uh, regardless of, of the people who absolutely hate uh, Marvel or everything, they hate all this stuff, it's stupid, blah, blah, blah. There, there's, a, there's quite a lot of those too. But... There's a lot of people who are who is very excited for this. So those those are the people that this is for. Those are for this is for the the Marvel fans absolutely. Um, as also we can see Gwenpool there. That's who that was. A lot of people didn't know that. Well, I didn't even know who that was uh, until they said, "Oh, that's Quinn Gwenpool." Uh, and then somebody was explaining who that was. I think it was Tabor Hill. I uh, seen a video of him saying who that was. Um, who basically, she's. Uh, she's not Deadpool like a female Deadpool, like we were, uh, like Lady Deadpool, for example. She's uh, apparently, uh, at least according to what I heard from uh, directly from Tabor Hill, anyway, uh, that she is a character um, who has the last name Pool, as in P O O L E, and so she's that's literally her name, and she just because of her name, she's just. Uh, she decided to design her suit around Deadpool, I guess. Uh, but apparently she has nothing to do with Deadpool, even though, like, then how they de uh, describe her, basically Deadpool. Because she gained the ability to see, to be aware that she's in a comic book and she can walk out the comic book pages. Basically Deadpool then. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm not very familiar with the character. And I, when I heard the name Gwen, obviously, I'm thinking Gwen... Stacy, so I'm thinking Gwen Stacy then maybe took on the mantle of Dan Poole, and may, maybe that's her hero name, Dan or Gwen Poole, rather, uh, instead of uh, Gwen Stacy. But I was thinking, if that's her actual name, then what? Where's her secret identity? How does that work? But I mean, I'm I'm just getting ahead of myself. That's an overthinking. But <laughs> but uh, but another thing that we got new that we saw is the um, banana dude. What's what's his name? Uh, Wolf Pilverine, Pilverine, like Peely combined with Wolverine is Pilverine, and what we saw there was the the Uzis that he had, the uh, the machine guns, the dual, uh, the dual. They, they, I heard a lot about that. That at first it was supposed to be released along with um with uh, what's her name, uh, with Mystique, uh, but it never really happened. It never really got. They never really got around to those, and they never released those uh, until now. So we're, so we're finally getting those for the first time, just like the dual pistols that we've had before. Now we're going to have those. Those look pretty clean. We can see uh, Mysterio as well up there. Uh, Mysterio, that's really cool. Uh, he looks really good. And, 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 you know, every time I see Mysterio, my mind goes straight to the classic, the good old days, man. Uh, Spider-Man 2 on the PS2. The Sam Raimi trilogy movie uh, for the game. 
Spider-Man 2, uh, the movie, game, yeah, that, that one on the PS2, that was my childhood game there, and I mean, that's, that's always going to have, always going to have a special place in my heart, absolutely have to turn this AC on, I am sweating, I'm melting, I'm melting here, and that lava that we saw a moment ago, uh, so that being said, <laughs> Uh, another thing that we got here is uh, 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 jo Jonesy. I keep wanting to say Jonesy uh, as in just normal Jonesy, but he's Captain Jonesy apparently. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they he's not um, taking the mantle. Is he taking the mantle of Captain America? Is he supposed to be the new Captain America? Or is he just Jonesy, just dressed as Captain America? Or is he actually Captain America? I'm not sure, but I know he's not Steve Rogers. I know he's Jonesy, so he's Captain Jonesy. I guess maybe he's just taking on the mantle of Captain America. If that's the case, then where is Captain America? Where is uh, Steve Rogers, Captain America? Uh, what happened to him? Maybe that's something uh, that happened in the comics that I'm not aware of because I didn't uh, read the comics. I don't have the, uh, the Fortnite comics, so I'm not a fully aware of that. If you are, let me know in the comments down below. Also, the if you're wondering who the... Who the, who the uh, the girl is in the uh, the white outfit. Uh, what was her name? Emma something Frost. Something Frost. It's just, uh, basically the person who was um, in. You guys seen uh, X Men First Class? I'm pretty sure that's the one. The one that turns into the diamond. The diamond girl. Yeah, I'm pretty. The the one with the the powerful tele telepathic abilities. Yeah, that's the one. Uh, she was a powerful mind reader uh, and whatnot. That's the one. I'm pretty sure that's her. Um, uh, from that one. I'm, I know a lot of people probably haven't seen that movie, though. Um, also, we got, we got, uh, uh, what, what's her name? Uh, uh, T'Challa's sister, e Shiri. Shiri? Something like that? Yeah, she, uh, that was from the, from the last, uh, the last Black Panther movie. Uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Right, I did see that movie. I did see that movie. So, yeah, she's taking on the mantle of, uh, Black Panther now. And so that's her, uh, and she looks pretty clean, not going to lie, especially that mythic of hers. That looks really good. Um, and so, I mean, it's a step up from the old one that we, that we had. Now we can do those claws those, and the kicks and whatnot. Man, this next season is going to be crazy, bro. It's going to be lit. That's what I have to say. And especially with uh, none other than Doom himself, finally. Obviously, with that mythic, it's going to be absolutely OP. It looks like, like a straight-up... Kamehameha, like, uh, except it's, it lasts longer. Like, can you imagine a Kamehameha that lasts even longer than, like, the normal Kamehameha that we got? People were complaining about that, bro, because people said it was completely broken because of how OP it is. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be like that. Uh, you can control where, where you're uh, uh, aiming it at, uh, but it looks like it, like it shoots you up into the air and you're kind of, like, hovering there. So it might make you kind of um, vulnerable, just like the Kamehameha was. So I don't know. We're going to have to see. We're going to see. But what I do know is that this is going to be epic, bro. This is going to be uh, insane. This is going to be one heck of a season. I'm loving this. Uh, and as well as all of the other news that we got of stuff that's coming, uh, like all the other Disney um, the Disney characters and whatnot from, like, uh, from Pixar uh, like the big news that we get that the Incredibles are coming. The Incredibles are coming to Fortnite. That is confirmed that the Incredibles are coming. It will be, um, uh, what's his name? Mr. Incredible, right? Mr. Incredible. It's been a while since I've seen that movie. I really got to rewatch the movies. Uh, one and two, especially one. It's been longer since I've seen one. But the last one I've seen was two. And that was, even then, that was like, I'm pretty sure last year. I don't even know when. But it's been a while. So it was, it's Mr. Incredible, uh, Elastigirl, and uh, Frozone. Frozone, yeah, his, his friend, his buddy, Frozone. I remember, I remember that voice by uh, none other than Samuel L. Jackson. That guy, he always voices and plays in everything. He's always in everything. You got to love it. But, uh, but yeah, those guys are coming to Fortnite. So that's going to be crazy. That's going to be huge as well as Disney villains, the classic Disney villains like Cruella de Vil um, and Maleficent. And uh, so one of the other ones, uh, uh, Hook, Hook, Captain Hook. Uh, and, and if we're getting Captain Hook, then that means that 
is an in inevitable for us to get Peter Pan himself then, right? Um, it, it's possible we could be having Peter Pan in, in, in Fortnite. I never thought I would say that. I never thought I would say those words. Um, and it's really crazy that also that we're getting Corella Deville, Corella Deville, Corella Deville, uh, something, something, make you turn ill. I don't know. It's been a long time, bro. I don't remember the words. Okay. But also, um, there's an also word that we, that is rumor, rumor, uh, but supposedly maybe that we might be getting the Simpsons in Fortnite as well. So it's possible because another thing, you know, it's owned by, then they say it's owned by Fox and when Disney owns Fox or something like that. So, um, so it makes sense that uh, these are more possibilities for us to be getting in the future, future collaborations. This uh, collaboration that Epic is doing with, uh, with Disney is, is a huge deal. And so, because you know, Disney basically owns almost everything. So, so we're going to be getting a lot, man. We're going to be getting a lot. Absolutely going to be getting a lot. So, I mean, uh, Fortnite is really uh, turning it up, man. They really are. They refuse to die out. They absolutely refuse. They just, every time um, they're at, feel, they feel like they're at a threat of, of, uh, of starting to lack. They're starting to, they're lacking. Every time they feel like they're lacking, they, want, they just want to just turn it up that much more higher. So let's just collaborate with Disney and just give them everything, you know? And that's what we're getting. So I'm not complaining. Are you complaining? I'm not complaining. I love all of it. The fact that we're getting so much. Uh, but those are my thoughts on this. If there, uh, hopefully that covered everything, most of everything there is. There's definitely a lot more stuff to talk about. Uh, like uh, the, the new POI that we're going to get. That's, the, that's in the background that you see here. And from the video, uh, I forget the name of it already. But that's basically the country that, uh, that Dr. Doom he rules over. That's his, his country. He owns the, uh, that country. Uh, so it's uh, that's that basically uh, that entire that's the POI from that that's based on that uh, that's going to be that town that you saw and as well as the the big castle that's going to be his layer his his you know uh, that's what we saw in the video as well so there's going to be a couple of the new POIs that we're going to get um, that's going to cover up the previous some of the we saw we saw the confirmed uh, the new map. But it was like a teaser of it. So a lot of it was covered in like this big green smoke. So we couldn't see a lot of the, any of the new areas. But basically that's what it's going to be. I forget the exact uh, location. But I think I remember somebody saying that uh, Classy Quartz is going to be replaced with, the, with Doom's Castle. Uh, Lavish Lair is going to be replaced with that, with that town, with Doom's, uh, with Doom's country. Uh, that, that town that he owns or whatnot, it's going to be replaced there. Um, and I can't remember where the other stuff is going to be. Um, but, man, it's going to be crazy. A lot of people complaining about that. I mean, there's, there's not enough of the. There's still a lot of the old locations there. People want to change the entire thing. It makes sense because of the fact that we're not in a new chapter yet. You know, that's how it tim typically is. When with new seasons, we get a, a few new POIs. That's how it's been. You know, we don't get entire map, the entire map changes until maybe like another chapter comes along. You know, that's when we get another entire uh, amount from this and when like the map becomes hardly recognizable from the previous chapter. Uh, and that's how it's been. So, I mean, we're probably going to still have most of these uh, same old POIs until the next chapter until uh, I'm not sure exactly when that's going to be and what's going to be after season four. Is it going to be a ch uh, chapter five, season five, or is it going to go straight to chapter six? I can't remember that part. I'm not very sure of that part yet, uh, but it'll be remain to be seen. But I do know that we're going to at least get some new POIs and those POIs are going to be huge hot spots. There's going to be a lot of people there. I already know it. it's going to be crazy. It's going to be war. Um, but I mean, at least we get the new mythics. Oh, and the, including uh, the the Iron Man, Iron Man uh, mythic. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. When we get the, we're gonna have Iron Man's new mythic. They upgraded it, so it's not just gonna be hovering. Before we could just hover, and that was it. 
But as we saw, Gwenpool, she was actually flying with it. And it makes so much sense, bro, since we got the, uh, the flying, uh, the wings. Remember the wings? Like, they took those away, so we, we don't have those anymore. But in the beginning of, uh, of chapter 5, uh, maybe t season 1, season 2, like, that's when we had the wings, right? And so that was cool, because that's the first time we actually had legitimate flying in Fortnite, officially, uh, and not just hovering. So that, that was huge to me, because I'm a huge flying fan. I love flying, especially in uh, superhero-based flying, not just, like, flying via aircrafts. I'm talking about superhero flying. I love that stuff, man. I love games where you can fly like a superhero. I'm just still waiting for that Superman open world game. Give it to us, please. Thank you, DC Games. But anywho, let me calm down here. I get very passionate about these things. But, but that being said, I'm ready for this. It makes so much sense that we get an Iron Man mythic uh, that would allow us to actually fly like Iron Man. I'm going to have my Iron Man suit on day one. My Iron Man skin, you already know I'm going into this season with my Iron Man skin, bro. Because I'm going to be flying and locking on to people and just raining down hell from the sky. So I'm ready for this season, man. But you guys let me know if you're hyped for this stuff, just like I am. But that being said, I'm going to get out of here. You already know what it is. Uh, we already got, the, we got some, a couple of new things here at the shop, including this guy. Signal is the name of him. I bought, I bought him just for a moment just to see because I was so curious if he actually changes his expressions at all because it looked like he's kind of angry there with the way they designed his, his little face, which is a, a boom box. It's old-fashioned. He looks so junky, though, like he's just made of scrap junk at the junkie at the junkyard. <laughs> he looks so dirty, dusty, though. <laughs> just saying, just saying. But I know there's a lot of people who probably really, uh, really into something like this. So... Uh, but I did just wanted to see if he changes his expression at all. He doesn't. He doesn't change his expression at all. You can do any emote that kind of normally would force you to kind of smile. He doesn't smile. He just does it like that. <laughs> so it's kind of funny. But that being said, uh, guys, if you use any kind of sort of, uh, if you're planning on making any purchase at the, at the item shop, make sure you use any kind of code. Any kind of code will do as long as you're using a code. But it means a lot to me. It'll mean the world to me, actually, if you guys use code the mid zone. Uh, thank you to anyone who chooses to use my code. It supports me big time. Thank you so much. I love you all. Thank you so much for that. Epic partner. Hashtag epic partner. Hashtag uh, ad, of course. But they do have a lot of stuff here, including a lot of Star Wars stuff, including that guy. That I, can't, I forget his name. Um, this guy. This guy plays in, like, almost everything. He plays in a... I've been seeing this guy so much now. But I forget his name. I keep forgetting his name. Espin... Espin I, can't, I can't remember the complicated names right now. I can't really think of the name. But this guy is everywhere. And I, I like to see it because he's really good. He's a really good actor. So I like to see it. Uh, but I think that's everything. I think I covered everything uh, there is to cover. Um, the Deadpool Wolverine bundle is gone. If, if anybody was wondering, that is gone now. But trust me, it will be back. Uh, I feel like it's going to be back soon because next season is going to be nothing but Marvel. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be back during then. Uh, and we got the Reload squads and uh, the OG base skins and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, that being said, guys, I'm just starting to ramble at this point. Uh, I, I pretty much covered everything. Uh, they brought the X-Men bundle back because they did remove this from the item shop for a moment because it was uh, released too soon. Uh, but then they um, brought it back. So make sure you guys um, check that out if, you, if you're into that. It looks really cool. So, but yeah. I think that covers everything, guys. I'm going to thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm going to get the heck out of here. Yes, I'm at level 499. I've been playing a lot of uh, <laughs> creative, creative maps, a lot of dodgeball, a lot of snake IOs. A lot of creative maps. I've been playing a lot of those, and those have been giving me level ups like crazy. So that being said, guys, I'm going to thank you guys for watching this. I'm The Mitz. You're watching The Mitz Zone. And I'll see you guys in another video. I'll see you guys there, whatever it is. See you guys there. <laughs> Later. <laughs>